Blind River is a small town on the north channel of Lake Huron. Nearly 3,600 people live in this town filled with rich Canadian history and Canada's game hockey. The Blind River Community Centre is home of the Blind River Beavers of the Northern Ontario Junior Hockey League. Well, you know, we, we are a young team and right now our identity isn't, isn't totally known. We're kind of searching for our, our, an identity. Are we, uh, you know, a, an aggressive team? Are we a finesse team? Are we a skating team? I think we're all a little bit of all of them and, you know, I think at the end of the day we'll probably be, still be a little bit of all of that. but. You know, right now we're still searching for an identity. Despite the Beavers going 0-51-1 last year, head coach and GM Brad Barton is trying to change the atmosphere surrounding the team. Well, I wasn't around for what they went through last year, but I know there was the, the, the fans that came out and they were dedicated through the whole year and I give them a lot of credit. Um, there's a lot of, you know, there's, there's a little bit of negativity in town towards the team because of what happened last year, but we're trying to change that and slowly but surely I think we are and hopefully the fan base keeps growing throughout the year and we're um, you know a contender at the end of the year. On the ice the team is led by captain Nathan Hans. He's not a rah-rah type of guy which you don't have to be to be a captain you know he's, he's always on time he's always you know going to the gym he's always you know doing a little bit extra in practice and that's the type of leadership I'm looking for anyways and that's what he does. The locker room is great. It's probably one of the best locker rooms I've been in on a team. Everyone's uh, there for each other. We support each other on and off the ice. We're together. We, we have hard paced practices. We, we're all in the gym every day. We're all working out. We're all, we want to make this a uh, winning culture and a winning team for Blind River because the fans deserve it. On this night, as the Beavers wear a pink jersey in support of breast cancer research, they're also welcoming a new member on the team, 18-year-old goaltender Connor Neurouter. We just brought in a guy from BC who played in Sweden last year in Division Two Pro League and heard really good things about him. So we're really hoping that he comes tonight and brings the game where he competes. There are only a few returnees from last year. The Blind River Beavers are young and hungry for success. It was a little bit more of a learning curve that has to take place, but uh, we're getting better every day. We come to the rink, everyone wants to work, everyone's willing to work, and uh, we're putting in the work, and then we're going to start seeing results for sure soon. You can tell the tables are turning, like they're starting to notice that it's not a joke and everything. Like we're this is a serious and this is going to be a winning franchise in the next two, three years. It's a process, you know, one step at a time. That's how I look at it. We're growing. I think we're improving each game. Sometimes it might not seem like that, but we are. I can tell by practices we're improving. To be honest, I, I wish we had a few more wins under our belt, but and then at the other part, when you look where the team was from last year, we've made huge strides. We're going to continue to make huge strides and by the end of the year we'll be a team that's really, you know, <clears throat> looking forward to the playoffs and looking forward to playing next year. For Home Ice, I'm Rob Savignac. Joining me now from the Centennial Arena in Elliott Lake is head coach of the Wildcats, Nathan Hewitt, who was recently named head coach of Team NOJHL at the Eastern Canada All-Star Junior A Challenge in Cornwall that goes on November 16th and 17th. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having me. How does it feel being named head coach of the All-Star team? It's, that's a great feeling. I'm, I'm really excited. Um, you know, we have, we have a great staff. I think we have a great player personnel this year. Just really excited to, uh, to get down there and put on a good show. With Team NOJHL going surprisingly far in last year's tournament, do you feel a, a little bit of pressure to match or do better this year? Maybe a little bit. Um, you know, I, I know the, the expectations are, are high and I think that that's a good thing. I think um, it forces us to work a little bit harder, be a little bit more focused, kind of rise to, to the expectation and, and have another good showing this year. Now Nathan, uh, looking at the team you have, what kind of style are you looking to play? Yeah, I think we have a lot of skill uh, in all three positions. We have some pretty skilled forwards, some skilled defensemen and, and some good goaltending. So I think we're, we're, we'll look to play a puck possession style game when we have possession of the puck and uh, pretty aggressive when we don't. Were you surprised by a few of the selections? Yeah, yeah surprised in, in a good way. Um, you know, we've been watching, watching guys since the start of the year, and maybe some guys you, you, you didn't think would be uh, ready for it this year kind of uh, stepped their game up and, and played really well and, and earned their way onto the team. Um, I think there have been a, a few positive surprises and not really any negative ones. I mean, the player selection process was definitely difficult. Um, there are a lot of good players left off you know, as, as there always is. Um, so, 
you know, I think that's just a testament to, to how, how deep the league is this year. And, you know, you can only take 20 guys and we feel that we have the right 20. When are you heading out and uh, what's the game plan when you get to Cornwall? Yeah, we'll be leaving on uh, Sunday the 15th and, you know, it's a long ride. The bus leaves from Sault Ste. Marie and we're picking guys up uh, on, the, on the whole way there. So we'll be getting in pretty late at night. We may have a, a meal and a team meeting, just kind of set the tone for the, how the week's going to go. And then, um, you know, Saturday or sorry, Monday morning, we get right to it. Good luck in Cornwall, Nathan, and thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having me. That was the Wildcats head coach, Nathan Hewitt, joining me from Elliott Lake. Now let's head back to the Timmins studio.